Hello, my name is Alan J. Fowler, A-L-A-N with one L, uh, J, and Fowler, F-A-L-L-E-R, not Feller, not Fowler, but Fowler. Thank you, and um, I'm here to tell you how you can keep your hair from turning gray, and how it can, uh, you can keep your natural hair color all the rest of your life. I'm 88 years old, and uh, I think you can see that I have a pretty good head of hair. I not only keep my hair color, I think it, the, uh, what I do is to, it keeps the hair growing better for a long time and does not likely to go bald, but I can't promise you that because uh, I'm the only uh, one who has ever done this. Uh, now, <laughs> uh, I should also tell you that it won't cost you anything except possibly the cost of a comb that looks like this. Uh, this is um, commonly combed, called a woman's comb because it has these widely spaced uh, tines. These are called tines, by the way. Uh, and um, uh, they're, these are very good for scraping your scalp um, with these, and that's what you do. That's all you have to do is in the morning when you get up and you shave and you wash and so forth, and you can have to just spend about a minute or a little longer, if you wish, on scraping your scalp by pointing these tines right down and scraping the uh, scalp of your head and all around your ears as well, and down a little back down the back of your neck, and uh, <laughs> that's all you have to do. Uh, it will not cost you anything except possibly whatever this kind of a comb costs, and uh, uh, we have no pamphlets to sell. We have no books to, for you to read. It's uh, as simple as that, and you just scrape your scalp with a comb like this. Now, well, uh, it sounds, sounds too simple, doesn't it? And there will be people who tell you all the way along that, oh, that's foolishness, you can't possibly do that. But I'm here to sh as an example of the fact that you can do it, and I know, the th I know the, uh, as a scientist, I know the theory of it, and it should work for almost anybody. It could work for women as well, if they have the inclined to do anything like that, but most of them have some other idea about what they want to do with your hair, and they change it, and they dye it, and so forth. I have never used any kind of uh, dye or any coloring or anything else. I don't put anything else in my hair. I originally did it when I was started at age 50. I originally did it to uh, scrape the scalp, scrape my scalp of um, dandruff, clean the dandruff off, and um, that worked fine. And then I discovered that it was very stimulating. <laughs> stimulating, yes. It stimulates the blood underneath your, your uh, skin of your, of your scalp. Keep your mind uh, active. It's a, it's, a, it's a rather nice thing to do. So it, it's more than just keeping your hair from, from uh, turning gray. But that was the main object I found out after a while. And uh, I'm 80 years, eight years old. I'm sure you would say I don't look that old, but that's the fact, and I hope to keep a few more years going, and um, so forth. Well, um, I tell you, you scrape your scalp. Here's what you do. Um, you uh, simply point the tines down, and you pull it through your hair and scrape your scalp, like this. You go either way, this way, or the other way, or sideways. But as long as you scrape it well, and especially around the ears, you have to get close into your ears uh, and rub it up and down a little bit more there, and then over your ears and down down your, the back of your neck a little bit, and uh, so forth, as you see I'm doing. And um, that's all you have to do. And if you... Uh, I have him incorporated this. I, as soon as I felt stimulated by it, I, I didn't know I was going to save my hair color for, for, for about 10 or 15 years because it stayed and other people, other people uh, turned gray. Other people my age turned gray and pretty soon I was way ahead of everybody else and uh, kept my hair color completely. You might ask, when, do you, when should you start? Well, I started at 50 but my hair was uh, still, no, I had very little gray, maybe a little gray on the corners and the sides, but um, I started at age 50, but I think you should start much earlier than that because most men 
will start to get going gray. They may start in uh, uh, 40 or 50 or sometimes even earlier. And uh, it's best to start early and it doesn't hurt at all. You make it part of your morning ritual and you spend about a minute doing it. And it's, um, it's a nice experience as well. As I say, we don't make any money off it. We're just putting it out here for people to uh, get to use it. And I hope that it, uh, the idea flourishes and it passes on from one person to another eventually. So that, uh, and they pe tell people to read this. And I say, do not be discouraged by, by people who say, oh, it can't be done. And that includes people who are professionals in the hair business. And they will tell you it can't be done. And, um, but uh, I did it. And uh, I'm quite sure that other people can do it as well. I'm, I'm not an unusual person in, in terms of, uh, of my physical stature. It's about the same as a, perfectly a, a few other million Americans, certainly don't know about other races of people it's hard to tell but um, because we don't have any experience there if their hair turns white when they get old as it does for most of the uh, most of the people in this world I believe uh, then the uh, the scraping uh, may do very well the same sort of thing as uh, what happens with me and and so forth well uh, <laughs> I'm not going to try to tell you about the theory of it that's a little bit more complicated than I think is, is, uh, would be useful uh, to you. There will be a, a picture telling you right out straight what you have to do with the intent of uh, stirring up the blood between your scalp and your skull. Scrape the scalp and adjacent areas with the tines of a comb with the intent of stimulating the blood in the scalp on a routine basis. Of it having been done, and I think it's a very, according to my theory, it's something that anybody can do and anybody should benefit from. So I'll leave it at that and uh, let you go about your ways and uh, have a good day. Goodbye.